And that just leads to out. So, welcome to the charge. I'm Sir Franklin, and we're taking to the field today with Passerby. Post apocalyptic setting where anything could happen. Let's ride. My name is Nathan, I'm a loner, wandering through a desolate and shattered world. For me, it was always a dark, unforgiving wasteland. The difference is that now it's overrun by infected monsters. Nice. Nobody knows exactly what happened. After the fallout, people started forming factions, different groups to survive. I always felt like an outsider, and now I became a passerby. I know that my fate hangs in the balance, and that it could be severed at any moment by the horrors that lurk in the darkness. Okay. Yet another deserted town. Hope I can find something useful around here. Did we come from the... Oh, that's a forest. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so sprints a little bit faster. Not too bad. What? Interesting. I guess we don't have stamina. Let's explore the grocery store. I bet we could get some goodies here. Doubt there's electricity, but it'd be nice if there was. Anything? No. Yummy. That's my favorite. That thing. Love it. I guess that's all we can get right there. Oh, I went through the... Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I broke the game already. Normally takes me a little longer. AC would be nice in the apocalypse. You know, that's one thing they never talk about. Air conditioning. Police station. Probably some good stuff in there, too, honestly. Alright, what about in here? Ooh, paper. The key's on the shelf. Open the locked door of the building by the road. Stay inside. Wait for the night to pass. And then do whatever you want. Do not go outside at night. If you're reading this, that means I'm already gone. You still have a chance to survive. Good luck to all. Keys. I guess it's the door back in the grocery store. But why don't we try some things out? See what else there is. Pretty desolate. Makes sense. Now, he said there were monsters. Oh. They said there were monsters here. Like, in this setting. Does that mean, like, the people just went bad and, you know, they suck now? And they're trying to kill you? Or does that mean that there are actual, like, mutated monsters? Stop. In the name of love. All right. Well, that's, is that where we were earlier? No, but there's a bathroom there. Well, let's try that, and then I guess we can go to the grocery store and chillax. You do need a good bathroom in the apocalypse. Do not leave without flushing. I, I know we have this infestation and shit happening, but come on, people. Did you lose your manners during Fallout? Bring your own toilet paper. Do your stuff and flush. This cannot be harder than surviving. Flush. I understand. Somebody just wants people to have access to a nice toilet. And it's our part. Keep it clean. Uh, that might have been everything. It's kind of a cool little area, though. I can't help but feel that we're not alone. We go in here. We can. What else we got? Oh, did we use the key to unlock this? All the windows are boarded up. Seems like... Oh, a computer! Do they have any games? Got games on your computer? Something for me to play. Nope. 
Got a TV in the middle of the room. Got connected to electricity. It's upstairs. Oh. Oh, more games. It's like people were hoarding the necessities. You know, like Galaga, Pac-Man. Really the cornerstones of our civilization. Oh, a generator. Hold on. I'm not going to mess with that yet until I read this note and explore the rest of the build. Amidst all the struggles, I refuse to give up on my dream. One day, I will stop hiding, scavenging for scraps, rationing the supplies, and I'll move away from this cursed town, opening up a restaurant at the end of the world where people rejoice, have fun, and remember that not everything is lost. One day. Oh, that's sweet. Alright, what is this? Does this make anything, like, noise? I thought that was... I don't know. I thought that was a generator, but maybe I'm wrong. Or it could just be that the generator, you know, ran out, which is also fair. And that just leads to out. So, oh, ho, 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 no, no. Okay, gonna ignore the dead impaled man. Got it. That was well done. Clever, clever, clever. Looks cozy. I should look for supplies. Supplies. Surplies. Surprise! Uh, usually I find stuff in the trash bins. Got it, got it, got it. I wonder if that's the guy who wanted to open the restaurant. It's a little bit sad that that guy's dead. Alright. Guess we gotta go outside. See what we can find. In the trash. In the trash. Uh, hold on. There's some big old containers here. I guess we can't look in these, but I do just want to make sure we familiarize ourselves with the, the territory, the surrounding places. Very safe to do that. Yeah, I was not expecting that dude um, above the stairs. Yeah. Anything? No, is that recycling? I don't even know what that is. Oh, we got to go over there. <laughs> I'm over here like, oh, so inconvenient. Meanwhile, this dude's like surviving the apocalypse by himself. Can we get in this tower? No, okay. Back to the bins. And I'm guessing that dude, you know, that was a murder. I'm guessing that nothing good happened. The air is filled with the stench of decay. People are more aggressive than the infected creatures. There's nothing left of this town besides crumbling buildings and trash. I tried to care about the situation, but why bother? Every day I get closer and closer to ending it all. Maybe one day I can find the courage to do so. Well, that's really sad. That does answer our question, though. So you have regular people that are dangerous, and then you have infected creatures. We don't know if that means humans or animals or if something you kind of spawn. What is that, like a progress bar? Huh. I found rubber tubing, empty food containers, and nothing else useful. Got it. I mean... Okay, so there has to be more. There have to be more trash bins, because it says so. See, this was the door that at first I thought that key was going to unlock. Not that, uh, not that one in the bigger building. I also don't know if I'd set my supplies down. If you travel that light, you might as well keep them with you. Because why would you assume that you're alone? I figure if you're going to stay alive, always assume that anybody and everything is trying to kill you at any time. All the time. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. No, they really kind of make you search around. I like that, actually. That's kind of nice. Uh, torn clothing scraps and dented cooking pots can be used, I guess. Yes, you can be um, Samwise Gamgee and hit people with the pots. Give me supplies. Almost there. 
Wood scraps because this town was empty before the fallout. Well, that's too bad. Nope. I'm tired. It's getting dark. I should go back to the shelter and sleep in the bed. Got it. Got it. Got it. We will do that. It's just, it's so desolate here. And it makes sense, it's the apocalypse. But there's gotta be something else going on. Okay, the pack's still there. All that's still there. Yep, that guy's still there. Man, that is just, what a way to go. How strong do you have to be to do that to somebody? Was at the door. Who could it be at this time? I should be careful. Oh, cool. We have a flashlight. Yo. Oh, there's a couple of these things out there. Oh, no. All right. So nighttime's dangerous. Is this guy still up there? Yeah. I don't know why I'm thinking that I'm going to look and he's just going to be gone. And it turns out that he's a zombie or something. And that we're all dead. Where are ye? Where are ye? Looks like someone's hurt. I should be careful following this blood trail. Or we could just go back to bed. We don't have to do this. We really, really don't have to do this. You know, maybe it's just red paint and everything's fine. Please help. I was with the group and got lost. I had a walkie-talkie with me and dropped it near the police station. Please find it. You're the police station, dude. I don't... Okay, I don't know what the range on these guys are or how fast they move. Um, How fast are you? Man, there are a lot of you. Go this way. Can we go out the back? No. Um, I don't know if we can get past that one, but let's try. Oh, there's another one. Oh, this was a bad idea. This is why I would die in the apocalypse. This is one of many reasons, actually. Um, we're gonna sneak behind you. Are you coming after us? No, you're good. Okay. Nice. I need him to turn around. But he's not. If you could, I'd appreciate it. Please turn around. I'm a little stuck right now. I need you. Oh, that guy turned around. Ah, he's getting closer. Alright, let's go a different way. Let's get creative. Have y'all ever seen Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared? Wild series on YouTube, but that's what that reminds me of. That's not thinking creatively. Can I go past you? I'm gonna go past you. Okay. So far, so good. Man, this fog is actually somewhat of a visual concern. Okay. Thread the needle. There we go. Is this guy gonna be dead? Like, is he gonna be a zombie now? Hello. What do we do? Whoa! From the front, you're a little startling. Thanks for helping me and dragging me out here. It's very cozy and safe. 
Yeah, no problem. Um, I hope you didn't get infected. Looks like you lost a lot of blood. No, no, it's not mine. I actually met someone on the way here, and they were pretty aggressive. You know, we have to fight to survive no matter what. We got into a fight. They lost. Meanwhile, it got dark. Like I said, I'm with a group of people, and we share a certain ideology around here. Wait, wait. Why were they aggressive, and what happened to them? We had a disagreement about my offer. I did some... I did rush some things because it was getting dark, and I proposed to them to join my group, and they refused, saying that I was insane or some shit. Maybe they did not want to be a part of the group, and they were a passerby, like me. But what exactly did you tell them? People around here don't get aggressive for, for no solid reason. I personally find it hilarious, but my group likes to hunt. We gather supplies and mostly survive on meat. Oh, they're cannibals. Meat? Where do you get meat at this time? We all know that the infected are spreading more and more. The air is polluted, and there's no way. Wait, do you hunt infected monsters and eat them? No way, you think we're savages? Not at all. We hunt for fresh meat every single day. I thought you would be smarter than this. Come on, we're cannibals. I love how the, the, like, the word design has changed on cannibals. Listen, relax, okay? We already got our share for today, and I guess you're the lucky one. Dude, I saved your life. Get the fuck out, I have a gun in my bag, and I swear I will shoot you. Whoa, whoa, relax, I'm not gonna hurt you. If you want, you can join my group. If not, I can leave. I will not join your mindfuck group. Get the hell out, asshole. I'm worried. Oh, wow. All right, all right, I'm going. Sorry if I made things uncomfortable, all right? I will just stand up and leave. But I have to say that my group is already here, and I wish we had more time to discuss this. Ow! What? How lovely that we save their life, and then they immediately stab us. This is when you pretend to be interested, and then you say something to get them away from you. And then you run, you skedaddle. There might be zombies outside, but it's better than cannibals that can outthink you if they're in a group. But that was pretty good. I like the setting. I like the idea of it. Short, sweet, and definitely gives some more room if, um, you know, this guy wants to do more games. I thought it was fun. So thank you for making it, uh, if you're watching this. And I want to thank you for joining the charge. If you aren't already subscribed, please consider doing so, because it does help support the channel, and it does mean the world to me. I would certainly love to grow the community more, but I want to thank you for joining the charge today. I will see you on the next battlefield. Till then.